Hi, I'm Dr. Romano, professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the creator of the Dat Destroyer and Oat Destroyer books and the Orgoman products. I am here today with Professor Louis Blois. He's a professor of mathematics and we're going to do some great problems to help you on the Oat and the DAT exam. All right, Professor, go okay. to it. We're going to do another problem of the comparison of quantities A and B again. And just to review the preamble to the problem, in this question, compare the two quantities given using the information provided. If quantity A is larger, choose A. If quantity B is larger, choose B. If the two quantities are equal, choose C. If the relationship cannot be determined, choose D. Okay, so let's plunge into this, and this has to do with exponents. We have two exponential expressions, quantity A, 3 to the 56th power minus 3 to the 54th power over 8, as compared to 3 to the 54th power. Now, the, the powers are too great to even use a calculator on. You don't want to do this uh, by direct calculation, but we're going to do this by factoring. We're going to take the numerator here and factor out the highest power of 3 we can possibly factor out, which would be 3 to the 54th power. Okay, if we factor 54 powers of 3 out of 3 to the 56th, we get 3 squared. If we factor 3 to the 54th out of 3 to the 54th, we get 1. And that's over 8. Okay, let's simplify this. 3 squared is 9, so we have uh, uh, three, 3 to the 54th power over 9 minus 1, which is 8. And that cancels out with the 8 in the denominator. And what are we left with? 3 to the 54th power. So the two quantities are equal. All you have to do is know how to factor out uh, powers of 3 from the expression. Okay, this is a very similar problem, almost identical problem. 2 to the 120th power uh, minus 2 to the 119th power divided by 2 as compared to 2 to the 118th power. So don't be too hasty when answering these questions. Don't say, oh, well, these are larger powers of x, so I'm going to choose quantity a. No, let's do this. It, it, does, it doesn't take much work to figure this out rationally. Let's, fig let's factor out the largest power of 2 possible from this numerator. That's going to be 2 to the 119th power. And if we factor that out, we'll get 2 to the 1th power, from the 2 to the 120th, minus 1 divided by uh, 2. So let's see what we have here. That's going to be 2 to the 1th power minus 1 is just 1. So this is 2 to the 119th power over 2. And if I cancel a power of 2 from that, this gives me 2 to the 118th power. Okay, once again, the two quantities are equal, and they're pretty much the same problem, but just giving you practice with different bases and different environments here. So there we are. Okay, that was an excellent problem. Um, make sure you can do that. Uh, when you would say that's a sure bad type of question. Ah, uh, that's a this. pretty good one. That one will appear on the GREs also, yeah. Good, good. Make sure you understand exactly what he showed you guys. Louis Blois, Professor Blois, is the best in the business. All right, good day to you. Bye-bye.